Be honest with yourself. Is it possible that you've taken your eyes for granted? Have you ever thought about how amazing the human eye is? Just how are we able to see those millions of different colors and objects of different shapes and sizes? The eyes are one of the most fascinating parts of the body. In fact, the eye is the second most complex organ in our body, second only to the brain. It is also the fastest muscle in our body. Human eyes can process an image in as little as 13 milliseconds. You might think that a Canon DSLR camera with a resolution of about 120 megapixels is awesome, but that's nothing when compared to the resolution of your eye, which is 576 megapixels. To better understand how you see things, first you need to understand the role that light plays in your vision. Light rays bounce off of objects and into our eyes. Light enters your eye through the cornea, which is a clear, thin layer on the outside of your eye. The cornea then directs the light towards your pupil and iris. The iris is the colored part of your eye, and the pupil is the little dark circle right in the center. The whole job of the iris and pupil is to control the amount of light that gets into the eye. The iris contracts and dilates, changing the size of the pupil. This is why sometimes our pupils look bigger or smaller depending on how much light is entering our eyes. For example, if you are standing in bright sunlight, your pupil will be smaller to let less light enter your eye. But if you are in a dimly lit room, your pupil will expand to allow the maximum amount of light to get through. After the light rays move through your pupils, they pass through the lens of your eyes, which are directly behind your irises. The lenses are flexible, and they are able to change shape to help focus on objects at different distances. The lenses then send light rays to your retinas at the very back of your eye. The retina is a thin layer of eye tissue that is covered with millions of light-sensitive cells called rods and cones. Each eye has between 6 to 7 million cone cells and around 120 million rod cells concentrated on a spot of the retina no bigger than 3 tenths of a millimeter. Rod cells are responsible for your night vision, and they respond well to dim light. They also allow the eyes to detect motion. Cone cells are responsible for daytime vision, and they detect color. There are three types of cone cells, depending on how they respond to red, green, and blue light. Combining these three signals in the brain creates millions of different colors and shades. Once the image is clearly focused on the sensitive part of the retina, energy in the light that makes up that image creates an electrical signal. These signals pass along the optic nerve that connects the eye to the brain. They carry information about how bright and colorful the image is to the brain's visual cortex, which assembles the signals into the images that we see. Thankfully, these processes happen extremely quickly so that we can see things in real time. In order for us to see properly, millions of working parts in our eyes need to be healthy and working together. Our vision is such a complex phenomenon that almost half of our brain is responsible for generating vision. Other creatures have very different eyes, or no eyes at all. And many humans have eyes that are unable to process images properly. Some people are colorblind, while others experience complete blindness. So remember to appreciate what you have. After all, the human eye is billions of years in the making.